to some extent we have seen about the japa japa is the very powerful sadhanas more so in kali yuga even otherwise bhagwan has said yajnanam japa yajnyo asmi among the sacrifices i am the japa the most exalted asset don't need any samagris materials etc anyone can do at any time so therefore this japa japa can be sakama nishkam can be for fulfillment of desires or just to remember ishwara so that we get shuddhanta karana chitta naishchalya purity of the mind calm disposition single point in the mind so that we can gain the atma jnana brahma jnana uh, this nishkam in japa no japa can be name of any law in any name of bhagwan in in any form or certain mantras as per the mantra shastra we have no freedom to coin mantras they should be strictly in accordance with the mantra shastra related to different types of deities shorter the mantra more effective provided the person has got capacity to take it if mind is more restless agitated longer mantras are advisable if a person has got to an extent master the mind and enjoys some calm disposition that person can take to smaller mantras and the smallest is om omkar so this is omkar now they say there are crores of mantras maybe including all brahmandas but all mantras are said to be janma prada they give you punya and keep continued in the janma marana samsara transmigration whereas there is a mantra which reveals you your own swarup which is meant for that depending on our dispose and it is aham brahma asmi o aham brahma asmi this is mantra which is janma hara it destroys the birth means samsara one may say aham brahma i am brahma is it not a statement of arrogance it is not a statement of arrogance is a statement based on the truth you may or you may not know in reality you are chaitanya swarupa atma brahma oti but you are mistaken notion that body is i the mind is i 
It is so deep as a result you are not able to verify that you are Brahma Sarupa. So therefore, I am Brahma is not a statement of arrogance. It is a statement of truth. To some extent, we can make ourselves acquainted with what this Brahma is. Chandogya says, Sarvam Khaluvidam Brahma Tajjala Niti Shanta Upasit It's called Shandile Vidya, Shandile Upasit Sarvam Khaluvidam Brahma Indeed, this entire cosmos is Brahma Tajja Talla Tadana Tajjala Niti Tajja, Jagat is born from Brahma Chaitanya. Talla, the Jagat merges back in Chaitanya. Tadana, the Jagat continues on account of Chaitanya. Born from, sustains in, merges back in Chaitanya. That Chaitanya is Brahma. But in the, in the world we find disparities. Good, bad, desirable, and desirable, then Shanta Upasita. Don't give room in your mind to all these low, high level uh, notions. Know it to be Brahma Sarupa. With that brand of background, background, Aham Brahma Aspi, this mantra happens to be the most exalted. Though you do not have the Atma Jnana, Brahma Jnana, if taken to with sincerity for sufficient a long period of time, it will bestow on you that disposition which will enable you to be, to gain the direct knowledge, Aparoksha Jnana of Atma Brahma. Other point we have to see about the japa is how japa can be exploited to take to nididhyasana, nididhyasana, atma chintana. When you chant the mantra, any mantra, Om Namah Shivaya, Om Namo Narayanaya, whatever it means, depending on your Ishta. Between consecutive two mantras, there is a gap. A gap wherein there is no mantra. Om Namah Shivaya. Om Namah Shivaya. Om Namah Shivaya. Gap is no mantra. And thought should not come. There is silence. Therein is the occasion for Chaitanya Atma to manifest itself in that gap free from thoughts. First, your attention is in the mantra. After slowly, you can divert your attention to that gap, silence in between, which reveals you, your Swarupa Chaitanya. It depends on practice and where you can focus your mind. Primary focus can be on the mantra, secondarily on the gap, revealing your purpose. Slowly by practice, primary focus on the gap in between, secondary attention to the mantra. This is very easy. Uh, this uh, interestingly demonstrated 
in rasa krida in rasa krida every gopi had one complete krishna they didn't know at that time afterward they found that everyone had got it everyone thought krishna was with me only but krishna was as many as the gopis are. you said <coughs> angana angana andare madhava angana gopi angana gopi andare madhava in between the krishna when your attention is focused on angana gopi when you shift to the krishna madhava madhava antare angana between krishna and krishna in between the gopi see this one and say but your attention is that likewise in the beginning focus of attention is on mantra slowly on the gap between the two thereby you will find that from that chaitanya silence mantra emerges and merges back om namah shivaya om namah shivaya like this so this way to an extent japa can be exploited to take to atma chintana so therefore but one more thing this needs abhyasa practice you not that i know how it is to be done repetition 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 abhyasa 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 why because our mind is so much habituated to take to wrong notions and wrong values like the body is i the world is real etc it needs to be contracted it is not an act of few days or weeks or months or years it has to be the main goal of life so this way japa is a very effective sadhana oh समस्तोकाखिनोतिशा शाति शाति